I'm so excited, du, 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 and I just can't hide it. That's right, I am pretty excited today. Now, welcome back to the channel. Now, I'm... It's Friday. So the weekend's finally got here, and it's Friday, so... I'm excited. I'm going cam I'm, I'm excited, because I'm going camping. And I already know where I'm going. I phoned them up, and there's a space there and everything, so... You know, that's made me excited, but at the moment, I'm absolutely starving. And I've been told about a place over in in a town called Abingdon. And I think it's Abingdon on Thames. And I've been told about a kebab van that's meant to be slightly better quality than the run-of-the-mill sort, sort of kebab shops that just, you know, churn out a mediocre, mediocre products, because... I like my kebabs to be good, so I'm, I'm, I'm going to head there now, get myself a large kebab and chips, and do a little cheeky review on it. Yeah, so I'm just driving into Abingdon now, I've, I've, I've just crossed over the Thames over on Abingdon Bridge, and I'm going into the centre. Now, I believe that this kebab van is called Sammy's, I think, Sam's or Sammy's, I'll tell you in a minute. But it has had good ratings before, and you know, people have said try it. So, you know, here I am. Now, I don't know whether they make their own chili sauce, that's always a big one for me. So, I'll get again, what I'll do is I'll get a pot of it, and then we'll see. Yeah, so Sammy's, Sammy's, uh, Sammy's kebab trailer, it's called. And you could park straight behind it. Well, you could. But someone did take a spot. Now, it's the owner then's just turned up, so yeah, I hope this is good. So, I'm gonna pop in, I'm gonna get a large kebab and chips, and then I'm gonna drive off somewhere, find somewhere quiet, and we'll, we'll do a quick review on it. So, I've just pulled up a place called Radley Lakes. I just got out of there, it's only five minutes down the road. So, this place was really busy. I've got to say it was really busy. And there was a bit of confusion when I ordered. I ordered a large kebab with chips. Then I started boxing up a carton of meat and chips, which I didn't want. And I asked for a pot of chilli sauce, and what I got was garlic sauce on there, and then they just squirted a load of the chilli on there. I usually like to taste it first. But we'll see what we got. They were mega busy. So these are the chips. I've got these with little bit garlic mayo on it. That's them there, look. The garlic sauce is really nice. It's got like a little bit of mint coming through it as well. And they're clean tasting. You know, the oil tastes clean, which is always important for me. And they're piping hot as well. So yeah, chips are, they're not the best I've ever eaten, but they're, they're pretty decent. And it's a good sized portion as well. Now this looks like a polystyrene box. It's actually not. It's it's a it's like a recycled one. I got myself a can of Seven Up as a beverage just to make a change, really. So let's see about this kebab then. I did actually get them to plate it up as a kebab in the end with separate chips, as you can see. So the chips was definitely weren't bad. Yeah, it's a good start. The salad looked really fresh and. Another recycled one. Salad looked really fresh and the meat came straight off the spit, which is really important to me. So, smells good. That's what we got there, look. Does actually smell quite nice. So there's a bit of the sauce on the top there, so I'm gonna try that first. That's a homemade one, but it's nowhere near hot enough for me. But it's still quite tasty. So a quick go on this meat, look. That's the meat. Yeah, ain't bad at all, actually. It's a nice chilli sauce. I wondered if they have a hotter one as well, because I, I like mine quite hot. But I've got to be honest, the garlic sauce is nice. The meat is nice. It's not greasy. It came straight off the spit. It's actually very, this is very good kebab, actually. I'm really enjoying this. So this is Sammy's kebab trailer. 
I think he's got a shop as well in Abingdon. But this this one came from the trailer, which is in the square, basically in the right in the centre of Abingdon. Now it took me an hour to get here, so it's about a two hour round trip. Now this lot cost me, it cost in total, I had to seven up from somewhere else, so I'm not going to include that. So it's for the kebab, large kebab and chips, with all your sauce, came to £12.30, but I'll just go for £12.50, and to be fair, it's worth it all day long, really, really good. And that Sammy's, I believe, is, is another one that's been there a good while. I don't know how long. I can't lay claim to knowing how long. Yeah, but this um, this kebab trailer was busy. And and I can see why it was busy as well. You know, it's, well, it's worth going to. And there's also plenty of it. They don't mess about. And I don't know if you can see, there's not an ounce of grease on that at the bottom of the container. That's a big test. And, yeah... Yeah, I'd go back here. When they got my order wrong at the start, I thought, oh no, this isn't a good start. But, they've done well. They've done well. My only thing would be, I love the chilli sauce. It's got great flavour and it's homemade and that's really important to me. But it just needs that little bit more kick. And I know you've got to cater for the masses, but maybe do one at this strength and, and do a, a, a nice hot one and give people the choice that's the only thing I would say but it is actually a very tasty sauce and the only other thing I would say there's no fork in the bag no napkin I carry my own forks because obviously this is a little micro camper but yeah just be aware of that and with been no napkin as well I'm not going to mark them down on that you know if, if most people who go out for a doner kebab go armed anyway with their own utensils don't they I certainly do so I can get stuck in because a lot of the time you get a, um, a cheap plastic fork and they're no, they're no good bad for the environment and no good they do wooden ones better for the environment but still they ain't really a lot of carb the large kebab is on the generous side as are the chips so I won't be able to eat all of it Maybe if you've got a regular kebab and chips, you might. But I wanted to, I wanted to try their chips because obviously I'm reviewing them. And again, I didn't go up to the trailer with a camera because then they know you're probably going to be doing a review. I like to see what they're going to give you. And if this is what you're giving the public, then, you know, it's decent. It's really good. Really nice. So there we go, guys. There's the taste. There's the test. You can pick it up at the end. But it's where, it's where a napkin would come in nice. Okay, I'm going to give it a score. So there was a bit of confusion at the start. They rectified it and they put my order right. I asked for a pot of chilli sauce and I didn't get that. They just chucked it on. And it was lucky because they make their own chilli sauce and it was nice. I still got like, it had quite a depth of flavour. So I'm still getting a bit of that coming through now. And the meat came straight off the spit. They were also very busy, a lot of takeaway orders, people phoning up. The meat came straight off the pit, the pit was nicely done. When I picked the bread up at the end and it didn't fall apart in my hands and leave me covered in grease, that is the big one for me. And it tasted really pleasant and it didn't leave, and it didn't leave me covered in grease either. And it was, yeah, so that was generally a better than average, certainly better than average. It was, it, you know, it was one of those kebabs that get my attention. Now, with that said, I could have done with a napkin, but they wrap it in paper as well, so I'll use that. All right, it took me an hour to get here, so it's a two-hour round trip I have to build into this. So, a score out of ten. It was excellent. <laughs> I'm going to have to score that a good 9. It's it's up there with some of the best kebabs I've ever eaten. And it's left me a really nice taste. Not greasy. It's been there a long time. All their salad was really fresh and it, it just looked clean and good. Yeah, I'm scoring that 9 out of 10. Would I do a two hour round trip to eat that again? Yeah, definitely. And what I would do 
is actually go out of my way. I wouldn't. I would go past certain vans with another half hour drive just to have this one because I don't. I don't like eating the rubbish ones. So Sammy's kebab trailer in Abingdon Square. I'm scoring you nine, possibly a little higher, maybe a nine point two. Excellent, really well done, and you will definitely see the mighty Mansfield coming back because I need that one in my life again. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. Get yourself down the Sammy's kebab trailer. And I'm going to wrap it up by saying, excellent, I will definitely be back. And thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll catch up with you guys in the next episode. Cheers.